if you see what we were funding from ECHO in, a, in the region seven years ago, it was mostly disaster preparedness actions. Okay. Uh -huh. And based on this disaster preparedness, we were also providing support in case of disaster. Okay. So this was the case, for example, of IT earthquake or the floods in Peru or whatever. So basically, the main scheme or the main strategy in the region was basically to reinforce the capacities to respond to natural hazards with the exception of Colombia conflict, in which we were already working, we have been working from the starting from 94, but it was an exception, the response to conflict, okay? So most of our budget was devoted to uh, preparedness and response to natural hazards. Today, the situation has completely shifted because we are mostly working with complex crises. We have the crisis in Central America and Mexico, with all this displacement of people and people uh, being by, uh, a victim of violence. We have the Venezuelan uh, mega crisis, which is affecting the whole region. And we have the Colombian conflict that is ongoing, together with Haiti. So now today, we can see that most of our budget is devoted to complex crises and non-natural hazards. And it does not mean that natural hazards have stopped. Yes, it means no, that now we are no. another another layer of, of, of problems and a, a huge one. So today, we can see that Latin America is, is, a, is a serious concern in humanitarian terms. It's a serious concern because we have crisis ongoing and we are funding uh, NGOs, UN agencies, uh, Red Cross. Uh, we are not implemented by ourselves in principle. Uh, we are just funding, uh, the, the, as you know, eco, what we call eco partners that are in the field. And our work as eco uh, is to follow up the humanitarian situation in order to be able to assess better what is what are the priorities that we should fund in each region, in each crisis. Also, to know and to get in contact with our partners in the field because it's the way of knowing what are their capacities, the specialities, the skills and like this. And also because the reflection about the strategic reflection with them has to be done together. And, uh, and also to monitor this project it means that when we are funding, we are selecting. So we are, yeah. we, we make part of the selection where we receive uh, project proposals. We're supposed to, to evaluate what is the quality of the proposals, the assessment ideas and the capacity of the partners so that we select together with our headquarters what are the best uh, projects to be funded. Once they have been funded, our responsibility is to monitor them. What does it mean to monitor them? Well, to visit them, to verify that the indicators that they have, uh, they have written are properly followed, are properly achieved. Uh, to to uh, to follow up that the budgets are expended, that they are respecting the policy, their policies and our policies in terms of gender resilience, uh, food security, etc. So in order to be sure that everything is spent on that, so this is a, a responsibility because this is money from taxpayers in Europe that is being spent by our partners, and this is our responsibility to to go and to to support. Them.